Hello dudes! Welcome back! So, I've, I've had a change. Change of heart, haven't I? Oh, look at this poor bastard. All the tiles are all on the floor. Mate, come on. Where have they come from? I don't even know where they've come from. Up there. What a shitter. That was a bit touchy. Love. Oh, you're showing that girl. Um, so we had a bit of. A, I've had a bit of a change of um, plan, and I'm gonna carry on with the main mission for this episode because I I don't want to get too sidetracked. You know, it can get a bit distracting, if you will. Um, so here we are. Hi, Jonah. The library. Library. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's she look around for signs of Lopez. Feels something. Well, this is a. God, that's He's quite creepy. The the talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. We got to tear down. The stat, well, the painting, the mural. God, there's walls everywhere to tear down. Journal of Cincerano. And a silence settled, so great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The box! The silver box! Um... <clears throat> How exciting. Um, there's a lot of notes in this place, so I, I'd like to get other notes. Cross. It looks like it's from the 17th century. Hmm. Oh, where's me north at? There should be a north around here. Where's it gone? Maybe it is upstairs. Document, look, right in this corner. I've... Well, it's got to be behind this wall then, surely. I feel a bit bad just de destroying this whole place. De La Cruz leaves. The others are worried that brothers De La Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. That's, um, that's a really, really great optimistic outlook. Um, I like that. I like it a lot, to be fair. I like the music in this place as well. And I know um <clears throat> I know that the Tomb Raider games always how is that still there? Um the Tomb Raider games always get compared to Uncharted, but this here, this really reminds me of Uncharted. Twenty fifth of December, sixteen oh three. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We travelled in silence and in circles guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey, Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. 
Man, heavy, heavy weight on his soul there for um, sacrifice. Well, not sacrificing, but leaving a man behind, you know. <gasps> no way. That is big. No, oh, here we go. Some more. Lots of. Who covered this place up? And under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. Hmm. Anything over here, Mr. Jona? Jona? Uh, one, one more look in here. For sanity's sake, but I think maybe it's upstairs. <clears throat> yeah, the vibe. It's very somber music, but almost optimistic at the same time. It's very interesting. We have enough feathers. We cannot carry any more feathers. Another journal entry, so it would seem. Page 11. 26th of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. Nice Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said. A cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution. How he had acted in error. But now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. That's me! For I am he! But obviously women can do anything back in those days, Jonah. you know. This book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. We should keep looking. What a redundant thing to say. Now, nah, mate. I think we'll stop now. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. Oh, like the old, like the bloody first aid symbol. The serpent drinking from the cup. Oh, we've finished a, a story, miracle mission. Oh, she's steady in here. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does this mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Find the heron and the eclipse. De La Cruz Brother arrives. De La Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, De La Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields planting crops. Brother De La Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. So cool. I love the um, <clears throat> the writing style for that. It must be quite hard to write something in the past. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
we're all very modern. We we talk very differently, and it's interesting how that still feels old reading that or hearing. Okay, so <clears throat> just have a little look. See Lou in here. Oh well, this one wasn't there. Stone faces weep as Jesus, Jesus creeps, creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Oof, that's dark. Another story complete. Trinity. So, <clears throat> there are still six documents to collect in this area. But I don't mean right here, but I mean in the, this little village. Now, that being said, the mission was we need to look for a heron's wing. Is it downstairs? Oh, we already looked at that. Ah, oh. Laura, you definitely could have figured out that out. Mural under here. Got the music. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a cross line around here somewhere. She's like, yeah, that's so Lopez. Uh, he, he's just, uh, you wouldn't get it, Jonah. We'll find a way. What am I looking for? Oh, a cross. That's Lee's young to have all that responsibility. It must be pretty hard for him. I can only imagine. Is this the cross? It you looks so. Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. Whoa. What? Way down. Let's see where this leads. Into the depths we go. Oh, that's a lot of cobwebs, Lara. Oh, that little look then. She's happy. Wow. Oh, Jesus, Jonah. Station two. Jesus falls the first time. That does not look There's inviting. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. Hmm. Ambulate. What does that mean then? Because that's obviously um very similar to ambulance. Walk while you have the light. What happens when we don't have the light? This is creepy. That's a lot of... That's a lot of crosses. I don't like this. What happens when that light goes out? the light so that the darkness may not overtake you. Or a threat. 
Oh this no. Like Station three. Jesus meets his mother. Oh, uh, I don't like this, guys. Yeah, how do we turn the mirror? Hey, you. We obviously got to turn it. But how? Don't just stand there, Jonah. Give me some kind of hint. Maybe I shoot it. I can't shoot it. I don't have any weapons. Right. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to turn it, mate, because you're not helping me. I'll give you a boost. Oh, that brilliant. He is literally helping me. There we go, bit of dust. On to the next station. They can't even go anywhere else. Whoa. What happened to these people? Looks like the light activated something. Oh, we're gonna find out what. Whoa! Laura! Are you alright? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be station four. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos. Jesus. It looks like he's accepting the cross here. Mm-hmm. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. How have these people got down and then got back out? Who's... Oh, this floor. Look at that. Oh, it's unbelievable. Here we go. There's a woman in this one. Don't like that floor. Right, well, is that all of them? What's next? This is creepy, guys. And even the music has changed as well. Um. I'll get it. Is it this one? I don't know. I'm gonna die. There we go. A broken floor. Station five. Jesus falls a second time. Look at that cross. Oh man. All these little creepy people. Well, I haven't got any weapons, so at least you know there's not gonna be any fighting. Laura, is that what I think it is? The station's of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? What the fuck? They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. Station 6, more like. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. Alright, let's... <laughs> but that's not what... I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to get the right one otherwise I die? Don't let Lopez get in your head. 
He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> All right, now which one is it? Not gonna be that one. I think that one. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> No idea how I nailed that. Oh, that isn't a Jesus reference with the cross. Jonah, be careful. That's crazy, man. <coughs> Fucking hell. Careful, Laura. Swim to safety! Where's Jonah at? Oh, come on! The swimming sections are insane in this game. It's just rib cages floating around. Look at that, another fucking rib cage. Oh, there's blockades. Where even are we? Coffin, corpses, look at this. Oh, we're gonna end up like all these people. How are all these people even here? What the fuck? That is absolutely fucked. Oh, shit. No! Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Andrew! Stop! Let him go! <sighs> Is 
And Trinity gonna get it anyway. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. Laura! Kill them both. I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to buy Titi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? Oh, come on, Laura. You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Lara, go! Fuck yeah, Jonah! You fucking legends! Who are all these clowns? Is that Rourke? Running past just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. Fucking Rourke. If any change in our status, he'll tell us. All right, guys. Join me in the next episode where we're gonna go fucking kill Rourke. That shit bag. Catch us later.